Red Carpet removes Meghan name from A-list guest list after her own scandals in UK sparks disgust. In the weeks following the death of Queen Elizabeth II, the royal family has been more heavily scrutinised than at any time since the Queen's coronation 70 years ago. Instead, the nation's most disreputable Instead, the nation's most disreputable rags appear to have doubled down on their contempt for Meghan Markle. And it's not just the click farms and daily scandal sheets that are cashing in on the Queen's death by bashing her granddaughter-in-law. Tell-all books that purport to offer glimpses of life behind the palace walls are being rushed out to capitalise on the latest wave of anti-Meghan sentiment. In addition, Meghan Markle's popularity has plummeted since she and Prince Harry stepped down as senior royals. The Duchess of Sussex was voted the 8th most admired member of the royal family. There is a recent rumour going around that Meghan Markle dipped her toes back into the royal world following the Queen's sudden death on September the 8th, but the next time we see her will be at a glitzy red carpet event. The Duchess of Sussex is reportedly set to win a top award at the upcoming GQ Men of the Year Awards hosted in London, UK, where rich and famous guests from across the world will gather. Insiders have told that Meghan is a shoe in for the award, which will be presented on November the 16th at London's Tate Modern. But could that connection really earn her a major award at this year's GQ Men? Other reports suggest that GQ Men of the Year awards were delayed due to the Queen's death. If Meghan does attend, she'll likely be dressed up to the nines, as she has been for other gala and red carpet events since leaving the monarchy. On Monday morning's instalment of Lorraine, she discussed the explosive new book Courtiers, the hidden power behind the crown, with royal expert Russell Myers. Lorraine cheekily quipped about the Duchess of Sussex's singing abilities following on from the book's claims she thought she'd be like Beyonce after marrying Prince Harry. The book claimed Meghan despised the strict rules she had to follow as part of the royal family. The 62-year-old laughed off her jibe about the Grammy Award-winning singer Beyonce before they revisited the matter later on in the show. Sources have claimed Meghan was disillusioned by the strict protocols of life as a senior royal and felt increasingly cornered and misunderstood by the firm. There's a new book coming out called Courtiers, another new book with the royals, this time from the sublime to the ridiculous about Meghan, apparently wanting to be the UK Beyonce, so I'll fill you in on that. Lorraine couldn't resist having a cheeky joke at the book's allegations, telling Russell, I didn't know she could sing, I didn't know she could dance but I am sure she can. Russell returned to the show later on to update viewers on the royal family news, and Lorraine was eager to know why Meghan reportedly said she wanted to be the nation's Beyonce. Let me try and explain, because there are an awful lot of royal books out at the moment. However, this one is from a guy called Valentin Lowe, Russell added. He's spoken to many sources. It was impeccably sourced by people who worked for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex through their time as royals. However, the issues with Meghan were that she apparently wanted to be paid for royal walkabouts, kicking off that she didn't necessarily want to do certain jobs. One of the people there who'd spoken to Valentine has claimed Meghan had such an opinion of herself that it's claimed she wanted to become the Beyonce of the UK. Now, what does that mean? I think it means something about star power, that she wants to be noted as the main person in the room. Lorraine replied, You can't be the main person in the room if the other person in the room is the Queen. 